Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video today because I was thinking, you know, when I started doing videos, for those of you who don't know, I do videos on TikTok and I specifically do skits. I didn't really understand how anything worked in terms of how do I edit, what kind of filters do I use, things about like eyeline, how do I make it look like I'm talking to another person. I had to learn those things along the way. So I thought I'd make it easy for you. So if you're interested in doing any kind of TikToks, but specifically the kind that are like skits where another person is talking to the other and you want to learn about editing and just simple tips and tricks, this video is for you. So I use a program, it's called InShot. I love it, it's very user-friendly, it's free. Just make sure that you remove the watermark so you don't have that on your videos, that's also free to do, you just have to watch a little ad. There's also CapCut, which I've used, and it has more advanced features, but this is just for the beginner. This is very basic, this is just adding special effects, music, and being able to cut where you need to. I'm gonna show you a little bit of behind the scenes of me when I start a TikTok. Of course I have my ring light. You always have to have a ring light. Can't do anything without that. Um, but the most important thing that you have to have if you're doing this specific type of TikTok is a script. Now my handwriting is terrible. I think that any first grader could beat me in a handwriting battle mm. any day. Uh, yeah, it's, it's atrocious. I am aware, aware, but it's necessary because this will help your editing if you have it just written down. I'm in the middle of editing. As you can see, I've got a little special effects makeup, i.e. red lipstick from the Beauty and the Beast collection that I got in like 2008, so old lipstick. Anyway, what I was coming to tell you is make sure that you do the characters not based on the script, like which one comes first, but which one has the least amount of makeup first. <laughs> so this is the second character that I'm doing today because I can just wipe off the red lipstick and then I can put on eyeshadow and then I'm gonna go to my last characters which have no makeup on at all. So just make sure you're keeping that in mind because it'll make the process go so much quicker for you. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you what the first thing I do is when I'm on TikTok. So I've done all of my clips. I just started it. So if you'll notice, everything is in a character block, right? I'll do the characters in order of the makeup, and so they're all together. I don't do one, change the next, that would take forever. So I look at the script, and I keep going to drag the first part of each character block to the beginning of the video. Once that's done, you're going to want to shorten things. It's very easy on TikTok. And then once you have all of that, you're going to go to save. Next, you're going to pull down screen recordings. I can't do that for you right now because I am on screen recordings. A wall though. Okay, there I can. See where it's flashing? Yeah, you're gonna hit that. Then you're gonna go hit select cover. You're gonna tap it twice so you don't have that um, preview button on it. Now what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna let the entire thing run through. Make sure there's no notifications that come at the top because that will show up in your video. The preview thing makes it difficult in the beginning because you're gonna see those words. So make sure you run through the entire thing once and then wait until the first shot is over and then you can hit end screen recording. Okay, so you're going to find InShot, and then you're going to open that app up, go to the new video, new. You're going to find the videos that you just recorded, and then you're all set. And here you have it. So the whole video is here, and everything's already edited in the order that you needed to, so that's all well and good. You're just basically doing it for music, and say you added a little bit too much breathing room between characters, you can edit for that. It's very simple. I'll show you some of the features. So the first one, the one that I use all the time, is the split feature. So let me just go find the end of the sketch. It's about right there. Yep. Yeah. And then what you're going to do, yeah, you saw that I hit split. Then you're going to go hit the trash can for delete and get rid of it. Okay? Next, go to music and you hit record. And then you can record whatever voiceover. I have to do a voiceover for the beginning. I'm not going to show you right now. I'm not going to waste your time. But basically, you just hit record and you wait for it to go, blah, 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 say what you need to say, and you're all good. And now what you can do with this is very easy, like I said, user-friendly. You can tap on it, and then you would go to edit, go, blah, 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 say what you need to say, and then you could fade it, go, it in blah, 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 or out, blah, 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 say what you need to say, you can for it to go, lower blah, 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 it, say what you need to say. And then the other feature on here that's really important, I think that you, you'll use a lot, is you want to go to tracks, and you want to go to imported, and here, I, I've imported some things, but a lot of times I'll do extract from video. I will screen record something on YouTube, 
and then I'll click on it. I don't know if I have anything at them. Oh, here, the Riverdale song. I'm not using this, I just wanna show you. So I have this, right? And it goes above the video. And then, so it's not too loud, you're gonna go to click on it, right? And then you're gonna go to volume, and you're gonna make it probably, I would say like anywhere between four and six. Otherwise it's too loud and you can't hear yourself talk. And then for the last feature, because like you said, it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, very user-friendly, and that's about all you need to know starting off, is you want to do effects. I use the bleep effect all of the time. So it's really easy. Hit use. If you want, like that, right? But you, you're still going to hear my word, right? Because there's different sounds going over it. So if you really want to get rid of what I'm saying, here, let me, let me go to a place of me saying not so nice a word. You're up. Yeah. There we go. So what I go, I go like this, I hit split, right? And make sure I'm at the end of the word. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this video. You're gonna click on music, okay? And the one with zero, and you're gonna go all the way to zero. So now this way, when you drag the beep sound over, say it takes out the word completely because I have it on zero. That's about all you need to know. I already turned it off, but you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner that there will be a InShot watermark. Make sure you hit X on that so it doesn't save. And then once you're done, you're going to go hit the share button at the top, hit save. I'm not going to do it now because I am not finished. But yeah, that's basically it. There's a lot of cool things to check out. I'm not using any of them now, but there's stickers that you can put on. Uh, they offer you some, but you can also import any sort of <laughs> pictures. I have got some weird pictures in here. Um, and then there's also text, of course, that you can put on and at the top, like where the music is, you can put how long or short you want the text. And that's about all you need to know. I hope this really helps. Oh, one more thing. There's canvas over here. So this helps if you want to zoom in on a video like that. What I'll do sometimes, I'm just going to show you, I'm not leaving this in. I'll go like this, right? And then once I've split the video, I take the video, I go to canvas. And then I go to zoom and I just pull with my fingers and I zoom in. Or you could use this at the bottom. That works too. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, there's other features on here. You can crop things. You can make things go faster. You know, sometimes if I'm talking a little slow, I'll speed it up to like 108. Just make my speech go a little quicker. But um, that's about all you really need to know. And there's also like a reverse feature if you ever want to use that for anything. So I hope that was helpful in any way. I had to learn these things along the way, like I said. And so I hope that this video made it so that you didn't have to. And if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. My Instagram is here. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Sometimes things fall into the hidden mailbox. So if I don't respond to you, don't take it personally. In fact, comment on one of my pictures and I'll probably will see that one. All right, thank you guys so much. And if you have any other TikTok tips or tricks that you want me to show you, Please write it in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a video on it.